Well, it has finally happened. I can now talk about all the investigators because I'm not very clever. So I'm gonna I'm gonna come to you live with this with the sequel to a video. First time I ever do a sequel, last time I'm gonna do a sequel, never gonna do a sequel again. Now we're gonna talk about the all we're gonna finish this off, we're gonna get all the investigators. Now we're gonna start with Hank Sampson. Now he seems to be a country boy. And he, um, according to his description, he, he uh, completely, he found a bird-like creature and just completely just wrecked it, absolutely shredded it. And he's just trying to find his paw. And, you know, we need someone who could just, just crack open, crack open, and, and it, crack open this evil monster like an egg. Like, we need that. That's very powerful, very strong, very brave. Now, next we have Harvey Walters. He's, he's pretty, he's on the older side. But he is apparently very smart. He, he, he was a journalist, apparently. Um, I'm not sure. You know how I, know how I feel about journalists. Um, so I'm going to have to... Hmm. Uh, I'm going to put him in C tier, because I don't know. He, he also seems pretty old as well. He might like. He might just give out. I don't know. I can't trust that. Next is Joe Diamond, P.I. He's, uh, he's, he's trying to... He tried to do a mail job, apparently. He tried to... He tried to find a dude and give him a box, but apparently the box was something stolen. I don't like crime. Crime is very bad, very dangerous. But he is shooting a gun. And guns are very important in this situation. So I'd say I'll allow it. I'll, I'll make a bit of an exception for Mr. Um, Mr. Private Eye. Uh, next is uh, Mandy Thompson. She knows how to read. Okay. But um, but apparently she uh, she likes to read a lot. Which is very interesting. I think that's a very interesting um, idea. Might be very helpful. Um, and I don't know. I'm gonna put her next to Mr. Walters. Um, she might. She, she might go. To, they might go to the same university. And can't trust anyone from there. I think. Just uh, just how I live my life. You could live yours however you like. Um, next is a uh, Minty Fan. Uh, she was an assistant. No, sorry, a secretary. Um, her boss got murdered, and she has a weird book. I can't see what that book says. It's a pretty weird-looking book. And you know how I said about books, but then again, like, um, I'm gonna have to put her lower, because she's just... She doesn't seem... To, she's just holding the book. She doesn't seem like... Like, you can see, he's he's looking through his books, or he knows which one to pick out. She's actively reading one, so that's very important, but she's just... She, she doesn't look like she wants to read it. And we need someone with initiative. Either you do read or don't. I, can, I won't accept anyone who just can't can't pick a side, you know? Next is Moderate Jack. Uh, like the cheese, apparently. Uh, now you see, cheese, that's very tasty. And he also has a gun, and he looks very similar to Joe. But they both have the same hats, they both have, like, coats. It might get a bit cold. Um, okay, he's basically like that one Raider of the Lost Star. I can't remember his name right now, to think about it. Uh, and, yeah, he's... He's just trying to look around for pendants, apparently. That's not very interesting, but he seems pretty handy. I'm going to put him in B, because he doesn't seem too bad. Like, hey, maybe, maybe if someone's not available, you know who to call, but for now, I'm going to have to leave it. Uh, next is Rex Murphy. Um, he is a, he is a uh, journalist who's apparently extremely unlucky, but he has a lucky talisman, and he's very smart. Uh, this is a tough one. We can't... Uh, I can't trust anyone who's just naturally unlucky because of his family. You're just gonna have to, uh, just, just. I just can't do that. I, I can't jeopardize. I don't care how smart he is. I can't jeopardize this mission. This is very dangerous. You can't make take any risks on the world ending because of weird monsters. Um. Now we have we move on to Sister Mary. Now she l believes in the Lord Jesus Christ, and I. I gotta, I gotta put her up. Let me take a quick look. Um, she went, she went to South Africa. She's always known, she's always known her life as being a nun, and she's uh and uh, she's very poly. Hmm. Now, I, I usually say this. I was very common saying. You might know me saying this. Um, usually when, when you can, when you have an option of having God on your side, I typically take it. So problem is, she doesn't have a gun. So I'm gonna have to put her in A tier. I having God on your side is pretty good, but like, uh, if you have both a God and a gun, that's even better. But you don't have it. 
She's fine. Uh, she's still pretty good, but I'm going to have to. Uh, she could be better, I think. Now, next we have Agnes Baker, the waitress. Now, let's see. She's um She just works in a diner, and she started remembering uh, that she used to be a sorceress, apparently. Well, that's neat and all, but, like, is she lying? Is she just going nuts? I don't know. But then again, magic is magic. So let's put her in A. I'll put him in an A, because, I mean, having someone who used to be a sorceress is pretty good. And if she's lying, I don't know. We're going to have to... I'm not sure about that. It's going to have to take a risk. I mean, it's all, this is all about risks. Uh, Daisy Walker, the librarian. Now, I, I criticized um, Minty Fan for, like, looking very interested, interested in her book. But she looks horrified of the book. She looks like it's going to just rip her to shreds. What's her story? Um, she wor worked in a library, blah, 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 blah. She she thinks things are not boring. I don't feel like reading. Now I'm just gonna leave her there. I, she doesn't look at. She looks terrified of the book. I can't. I can't have anyone who's scared on this team. Um, next is Finn Edwards, the bootlegger. Um, that's a crime. You know how I feel about criminals. Um, let's see. He worked in Canada. Uh, then he worked in Chicago, and he got caught in a conspiracy trying to deliver goods. Now he has a very go-to attitude. I don't think it's that great because, again, he is a criminal and we don't want to get the fuzz on us, but he does, he, he just wants to focus on doing his job, which is fine. Now, George Barnaby, the lawyer, look at him. This is a man on a mission. Uh, what I said before about uh, the, uh, Norman Withers, like, he looks like he, he looks like he poops his pants. Like, this man, he looks confident. He looks like Gandalf. Like, he's, this man is powerful. Let's see, he's a retired man. That's very good. He bought a boat. We can always use a boat. Apparently, his, uh, his wife got killed by some guys in suits, and now he wants justice. I, I very much appreciate this man. He has the resources. He's retired, so he has the time. He has the determination. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. If I could make another tier just for him, he would... You know what? I'm, I'm going to put him... I'm going to put him all the way on the left to show that he... I don't want to make another tier for him, but he is the number one for now. He is absolutely man on a mission. We can't... We need Gandalf on our team. You cannot go without him. Next is Patrice Hathaway, the violinist. Um... What is a violin going to do in a situation like this? Like, try to look at me dead in the eye and tell me. I don't know. No, we don't know. We just don't know. Let's hear a story. Um, she's a musical prodigy, and she believes in this intelligence. She's trying to make it, the notes for music make a bridge between her own mind and another. She's like psychic or something? I don't know. I don't, I don't trust. I don't, I'm not, I, I don't know. Uh, I put it C because, you know, a bit of magic is always a bit nice, but... Can't trust. I don't know. I don't see the use of music. Um, next is a Tom, Tommy Muldoon, the rookie cop. Um, let's see. His family is all in the Boston police force. He's a trusty rifle. Becky. Uh, dedicated to law enforcement. And uh, he's just... Yeah, okay. His, it's his family tradition to find killers. I mean, sure... I guess I'm not. I'm not really convinced, but he does. He does bring his own firearm, so I at least have to give him that. I wouldn't say the best, but you know, he might be helpful. Next is a Ursula Downs the Explorer. Let's see. She liked to climb trees. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, put it over there. Um, now he uh, and she's she likes archaeology and uh, she's going around the harsh environments. Ugh. The trees, I'm going to have to leave her there, I think. Because the trees are pretty good. It's very nice to have a hobby, you know? Uh, next is uh, Wilson Richards, the handyman. Um, he brings his own gun, which at least puts him in B. That's, so that's a pretty good thing to do. Let's see. He, tr he tried to re help rebuild a church. It's pretty good. Um, and now he's he, he wants to go fix problems. Put him in A tier. Um, <laughs> Ursa not, you know... You can do, climb trees in your own time, please. Anyways, now we have the final uh, set of characters from the final expansion pack from the game. So let's start with uh, Agatha Crane. Now she is a parapsychologist. Is that like a psychologist or ghosts? I don't know. Uh, she likes paranormal activity. Um, her husband tries to stop her. I don't know. She seems a bit nutty. I can't. I I'm not a big fan. Uh, no, let's put it down. I can't trust her. She's she, she seems a bit uh, kooky. And also, look, she's very she looks 
she she doesn't look very confident reading that book. She, she's, like, holding, like, tweezers, I think. No, I'm not convinced. Let's see. Calvin Wright, the haunted. On the edge of death, he was bleeding on the dirt road, and he got so terrified. And he started to reach out and wait. The world needed it. Oh, Sorry, I'm not. I'm not being coher coherent. It's just this story is very uh, deep and heavy and uh, sad. Uh, he just woke up like he was about to die, and he just decided, you know what? I am not gonna die. This is the the chutzpah we need in order to in order to solve this to crack this thing open. So I'm a big fan. Next is a uh, Carson Sinclair. He's a butler. His his employer got swallowed up by a dimensional tear. That sounds pretty bad for the butler. It sounds bad for him. Like, he wasn't very responsible. He's the sole provider for, of the guy's children. He wants to restore their fortune. Oh, so he... So he, lo so he lost his guy. He lost his... The guy's estate. And he wants to get the money back and the estate back for the kids. I don't know. I don't trust this man. He seems very... He looks very, very... He looks very angry. He seems very untrustworthy. He seems... He lost all these things. He doesn't seem like a good butler to me. And even then, even if he was a good butler, what's a butler gonna do against ancient monsters? You can't serve tea to them. I try... Let's not go into that. Um, uh, next is uh, Daniela Reyes, the mechanic. A uh, mechanic's not a, bad, uh, not a bad choice. Let's see what she likes. She likes fast cars and pretty girls. She realized the world was... All it says is that she realized bad things are happening because she had a glass of water on her nightstand and then that shattered and she realized, okay, something is up. I'd say that's pretty good luck, but the thing is, though, I don't trust anyone who just relies on it. They change everything they're going to do. Their whole life is going to change just because of a glass of water. That's putting a little bit of a lot of trust in the water. I don't trust water myself, but I, you do you, whatever. Father Matteo, the priest. Um, he... He's Mex. He's a uh, Mexican priest who believes in a power greater than himself. Okay, he started finding bodies in his hometown, completely mutilated and stuff. Okay, and he went to go ask the Vatican himself. This is also. I'm gonna have to put him. I'd say he's on the same tier as Sister Mary. Like she, he's pretty good. He's also a man of God. He wants the Lord inside. He went to the Pope to ask for help. Like, I don't know about you. I think he's a pretty good guy to ask for the situation. Um. Let me put him here just to make it a bit clear that I added him. Um, I'd say that's a pretty good idea. Now, next we have um, Preston Fairmont, the millionaire. Um, let's see him. He was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. That doesn't sound very comfortable, but you do you. He has a unimaginable fortune. Um, he wasted his money on gambling and women. He, uh, he learned where his money came from because he did a seance with uh, the girls. Yeah, it, it just stops there. It doesn't seem like he's very bothered about it. It just seems like, okay, I'm rich, whatever. I mean, we could we could use like a buck fifty, I think. Like maybe you have to pay for travel and stuff, but it doesn't seem to bring a lot to a lot other than an unimaginable amount of money. It's like but the thing is though, if you give it to the butler, the butler will lose it, and that's a bad idea. So as long as I I think I'll put him in B tier just to make us uh to have a, t a gap separation between him and the butler. Because I think if I put him next to the butler, all the money will be gone, he'll be useless. Um, and I don't want to do that. That'll, be, that'll make him very useless. Uh, next we have Safina Rousseau, the painter. Uh, let's see. She is a, a talented painter that made forgeries and stuff. That's a crime. Um, she, she tried to recreate a... Um, oh... She tried to cre recreate a painting of an ancient, uh, weird city, and she was co then she woke up covered in paint and blood. You might, you as the common person, might think that's um, that's either poor etiquette. I mean, you don't want to come buy a painting covered in blood unless you ordered that specifically. But besides the, but that just shows hard work, determination, putting your soul. And like you know, when they say um, giving an arm and a leg, she might have done that already if she needed to. She had, she has the, the, the determination. That being said, she is a painter, and I don't know what a painter is going to do against a man with a shotgun. So, uh, now, last but not least, we have Marie Lambeau. Uh, she is a entertainer. Um, she sings at a nightclub. Uh, have I not, have I not ranked her? Huh? Give me a second. Hang on a minute.
Okay, I had to go check back on the other video, because apparently I completely forgot, or maybe the website messed up or something, but I put her here, so I don't need to even need to, I don't need to re-review her, because I completely forgot I did, and obviously, she might have done her witchcraft magic on me, which would be very bad, very untrustworthy, but anyways, this is all the characters, this is everyone. Um, I, I, I would try to prioritize all the, the characters in S tier, uh, maybe I'll put her a bit lower, because, I mean, uh, we, we, while we do want someone who's fit, um, I think that someone who can, like, crush uh, monster skulls like a melon would be way better. That being said, though, um, yeah, we have, uh, in, in the S tier, we have a cool, cool uh, Gandalf lawyer, um, believer in Jesus, uh, a gangster with a gun, bring your own gun, very good, two chosen ones, a guy and his dog, um, that's a bonus, another guy with a gun, a man who's so powerful with just his bare hands, he can shred everything, a man who refuses to die, and an athlete. I think it's a good team. I think that's a very trustworthy, reliable team. I, uh, we, we can have the, the Gandalf man be the brains of the operation, and then everyone else, they're, they're all extra. We don't really need them, but I think it's just adding, making this, um, this, like, A-team, this Avengers of of random dudes all over the world, uh, um, just trying to stop everything. I think it'd be pretty good. I think there's a lot of potential, and I I would like to now thank you very much for watching this. If you watch both parts, that'd be great. If you just watch this part, I don't know why you did it. You kind of missed out on half of it, but that's size the point. Um, I, this was, I, I, this was great to make. I'm glad I managed to all these characters I managed to know which, to make it very clear as a warning which which one of these suck. And I know what you're thinking. How do they play? Ooh, that's it. We're finally done with Eldritch Horror. Finally, I can put this series to rest and get rid of... Huh? Oh no, what's this? Oh no. Oh no! No! 